and we are back. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Uh, I'm just gonna mark down a timestamp here. Whoops. Uh... Okay, let's get back to it. Six, 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 five. Boy, the levels on uh, in World Six are really like various. It's not really like one single theme. <laughs> oh wait a minute, Jesus! <laughs> That's really loud. French toast, okay. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for following. That puts us at 70. I could have sworn I was following you. <laughs> no worries. I do that all the time. Uh, that alert was much louder than I thought it was. <laughs> Welcome in. Whoops, I didn't want to get rid of that. How are you today? Ooh. Ow, damn it. Oh. Uh. Wait a minute, can I get out of this? Ooh. How's the stream going? It is going well. Uh, we've completed the... What is it? The first five worlds. Yeah, worlds one through five we've completed. Gotten all the stars, gotten all the... Whoa. All that stuff. This looks really fun. It is. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Whoa. Uh, and I've never played this before. Um, it was, uh, it originally came out on the Wii U, uh, a while back. Um, and recently got released on the Switch with, like, an added bonus mode or whatever. Uh, which we haven't checked out yet. I'm playing the original game first, and then we'll go check out that stuff. Whoa! Also, while I'm thinking about it, if we, I know I've raided you a couple, uh, once or twice, but while you're here, anyone who isn't yet, uh, should go follow French Toast OK. She also does quite a few, uh, charity streams, um, or at least has, uh, has done, uh, one or two since I've been following you. Of course. Um, also, keep in mind anyone going over there. Uh, uh, she is a family, f uh, family-friendly streamer, so just keep that in mind when you're in the chat. Uh, I always try to make sure that everyone knows that uh, anyone I shout out uh, who ha who typically has family-friendly uh, streams that uh, everyone is made aware of that before going over there. Because respecting other people's chats uh, is very uh, important. <laughs> I I'm talking to everybody. Oh. 
Uh, let the record show that I'm speaking to everyone. I'm not trying to single anyone out. Technically. <laughs> of course. Just because I know, I, I swear a lot on stream, uh, but I follow a lot of people who don't. Like, I know uh, Sapphire uh, has a friendly, uh, family-friendly chat. Um, I know you do. I know Zadia does. So I just want to make sure that anyone that I uh, bring over to any of those are uh, made aware of those family-friendly rules. And just to make sure that... Keep it PG. <laughs> I totally understand that. Oh my god, I need to go. <laughs> we'll come back for the stars. Uh-oh. Oh, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> um, plus I've I've seen um I've seen people uh um I've seen people like on Twitter and uh and in other chats where uh I guess it's popular among um, not so great people to uh, sort of do hate raids, where they'll send a bunch of raiders over to like pick on and, and harass other streamers. And I know that I want to be the complete opposite of that. Uh, I think it's really important that you know uh, when you have a streaming community, you are responsible for cultivating a positive community. Uh, and, um, when you send your community to another streamer, you are responsible for their behavior. So if you're cultivating hate, I cannot even fathom why uh, people would do that. Like, can't even imagine. Yeah, I've seen it. I haven't seen it happen, like, in real time, but I've seen, like, recordings of, like, um people doing that and it's just it, it ends up ruining streaming for whoever they targeted because they'll literally have like a thousand to fifteen hundred people in their chat and they'll just send a hate raid over to someone uh and like completely ruin streaming for them because now they've got like fifteen hundred people who showed up only to pick on them and it's just it's horrible we have the ability as streamers to do so, so much good, and there are people who are just so horrible. Very true. Ah, crap. Oh my god, how did I even do that? <laughs> um, so yeah, I've definitely seen that. Uh, but actually, um, one of my goals is to, like, uh, if I ever uh, grow a large community, is to... Uh, use that influence for good. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Alana Pierce, but uh, one of the most inspiring things I've ever experienced watching someone stream is she does like the complete opposite of hate rating, where uh, uh, she was doing a, a thing for Tiltify, like sponsor, like a partner thing, a partnership with Tiltify, where she would go incognito and go to. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> I'll finish my thought after I do this. She would go incognito and lurk in other people's streams and then send her chat over to their stream. Uh, and it was basically a positivity raid where she would send over a thousand people uh, from her community to raid a bunch of small streamers streaming for charity and then donate like a thousand, like a thousand dollars, basically enough to like destroy their uh, that streamer's um, initial goal by like several hundred dollars just out of nowhere and she did that like all night um, and uh, she ended up joining one of them like a group of them who they do like Markiplier did something like that too I respect the shit out of that yeah um Markiplier is another good example. It's like, uh, I've thought about, like, what if I were to, e I, I mean, the goal isn't to get that big, obviously. Uh, I'm doing this because it's fun. Um, 
you know, and the humble amount of money that I have raised for charities is, uh, every dollar counts. So even if, even if it was a humble $160, comparing it to, like, a $10,000 one, at the end of the day, I still raised $160 for a charity, and that's still a good feeling. Um, but if I had, if I ended up with that kind of power influence, uh, I would probably follow uh, what Alana Pierce does and just, uh, instead of hate rating people and small streamers, uh, just trying to have fun streaming, uh, send hundreds of people over to do the complete opposite. And, and, you know, share the love, spread the love. We get enough, there's enough hate in this world as it is. We don't need to, we don't need to cultivate more. Stream for good. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing at this point. Uh, oh, I can get up there. Uh, yeah, I prob I absolutely agree. I have a lot of goals for streaming, but that's something I dream about doing uh, someday. Yeah. I mean, I definitely dream about that. Um, about having that much influence. Uh, but... If I were to ever have that much influence, I definitely want to use that for good. Um, because seeing the look on those streamers' faces when they had a bunch of, like, a positive raid of hundreds of people just out of the blue. Um, there was one group that she did that to who had a pre-recorded stream going of, like, a D&D campaign. Uh, that they were doing for charity, and their goal was a hundred dollars, and they were streaming, they were running that stream for literally an audience of one person, uh, and she went in and was waiting for them to react to, uh, their goal being met, and, uh, at some point, uh, uh, the camera switched off, and it went to a live feed of someone who is running the stream, just freaking out because their goal went from a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars and they had like hundreds of people in the audience all of a sudden and he was just flipping out <laughs> i would sob i would if if i got raided by someone that big and just saw a bunch of positive people in the chat out of nowhere i wouldn't know how to react <laughs> um but i know that i i would use that i would use that moment for good and uh, you know, shout out whatever the cause I'm, uh, whatever cause I'm, uh, streaming for and attempt to, in uh, introduce myself. <laughs> um, and any, and any, uh, followers that would have stuck around from something like that, it's like, I don't know, that made me think, like, what, what would I do in that moment? And I would take responsibility for that and, like, uh... Like, that's a lot of people who now have their eyes on me, uh, and I, in that moment, I can present myself as a force for good, uh, and I would absolutely want to do that. Um, like I said, the Twitch community definitely has its uh, fair share of toxicity, but it also has a lot of people, just like Alana, uh, who are fighting that toxicity by, ah, son of a bitch, by you know, not listening to the hate and just, you know, spreading, spreading positivity, doing things for, for, uh, oh, I see what's happening now. Okay. <laughs> uh, doing things for good. Uh, and I think we need more people doing that. Because you can never have too much. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh, and that's also why I find myself, uh, 
becoming more attracted to like streamers uh, or like streaming communities like yours, like Sapphire's, like uh, qualities. Um, you know, streamers that you know try to do good and be positive, and uh, so I'm glad that I am in good company with all of you. Yeah, exactly. Oh boy. Oh my god, I need to go. <laughs> uh... I'm not even worrying about completing this area right now. We just need to go. <laughs> can get this on my way. Oh boy. Hey! Okay, can you guys hear me? <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, my internet got disconnected for a second there. Uh, and that is one thing I definitely like about Streamlabs, is it immediately tells you that you're disconnected and then automatically tries to reconnect. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Alright. Uh, I forgot what I was saying before, but... Uh, yeah. Po positive streaming. It's important. You're too wholesome. <laughs> oh, that's just that. Okay. Uh. No worries, we're still here for it. Awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad you are here. And hanging out. Ah, crap. Oh. What is that bomb for? Damn it! Son of a... Son of a bitch. Ah, no! Fuck you, hammer, bro. Oh, no! Oh, my God. This is nerve-wracking. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. <laughs> no! Oh, my God. That was close. That's what I wanted to do. I'm gonna spend some time with Hubby, uh, but I'm lurking. No problem, I appreciate the lurk. Enjoy your time with your Hubby. Ah, that's what I needed the bomb for. Son of a bitch. Well, we're coming back for that later. Oh, son of a bitch. I jumped too early. We still got it, though. I feel like the internet has been crappy for everyone all day today. I tried to re-download Divinity 2, and oh man, one megabyte, or one megabyte per, per 10 seconds. Good lord. Yeah, my internet's been a little weird all day today. Like, it's disconnected a couple times. Uh, it disconnected right as I was going live earlier and caused Streamlabs to crash. It's just been really annoying, uh, to say the least.
but we still got it. Oh, you know what I didn't, uh, what I didn't look at earlier? Uh... We had a pole. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so, add, Hade add Hades to the playlist. Uh, it was unanimous. Uh, seven yeses. Yeah, we had a poll earlier that I completely forgot about. Seven yeses to add Hades to the, to the uh, streaming playlist, so at some point we'll stream that. Alright, there's uh, a World 6C, apparently. It's a magnificent game. So much emotion in the story uh, for a simple roguelike. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So, I'm sure at some point I'll, uh... I might have it. I don't know. Um... But yeah, at some point... Oh, I see. This should be interesting. Oops. Oh my god, Mario. Got it. Um. So I will add that to the list. By the way, if you... the command list uh, it'll bring up the uh, GG app list for uh, stream games for uh, suggestion suggestions things that I plan on streaming basically it's a it's a it's a compiled list of games that and there it is Hopefully that that's uh, I'm meant for it to be public, so hopefully you'll be able to see it. I see two games that definitely stand out to me in particular. Uh, is it God of War and Divinity 2? What? Oh, I did it. Oh, I did that again. For sure. I'll give both of them a try. Uh, God of War I will definitely stream. Uh, it's just a matter of when. Because there's other st uh, other games I plan on streaming as well. Um, upcoming ones, rather. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> Like, I plan on streaming uh, Resident Evil 8 when that comes out. Of 
course. Um, Sky the Skyward Sword HD. I plan on playing. Oh, I got it. Okay. Whew. Um, at some point, I want to play uh, the Super Mario 3D All Stars games. There's a there's a lot of stuff that I would love to stream, but uh, being a variety streamer, I can play whatever I want at at whenever point. <laughs> I'm sort of torn torn two ways because on the one hand I think you should always play only what you enjoy, but on the other hand I'm thinking of what games I would come in to watch if I was a new viewer. Yeah, that I think that's kind of the catch twenty two of streaming, is if you want viewers. Uh, you play what's popular, uh, but at the same time, I, mo it, I guess it really depends, because, yeah, both of those are valid. Um, uh, and when you start, I guess when you start getting bigger, there's also the, I, I guess, the struggle of um, wanting to play what you want to play and wanting to, and playing what you what your audience wants you to play. But I think that's more something to worry about if streaming is your actual, like, main source of income. Because at that point, that's your job. But otherwise, it's like, just play what you want. Um, but the thing is, is most of those games are on my backlog anyway. So, uh, other people wanting me to play it on stream just gives me an excuse to actually finally get around to playing it. So, like, God of War has been on my backlog for ages. And you wanting me to play it on stream gives me another excuse to, uh, or kind of adds to reasons why I should finally, you know, finally play it. <laughs> um, if there's, if there's a game that I absolutely do not want to play, I'll just pass on it. Like, um, the first Resident Evil I'll probably never play. I haven't found any streams playing God of War in over a year, but I think right now uh, is a good time because uh, of that new 60 FPS update. Yes, which is out now, um, which is perfect timing to uh, try out God of War. Plus, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, there's a there's a PlayStation State of Play. Uh, I'm kind of wandering around right now. Oh, I need to find 6C. Where's 6C? Um, there's a state of play tomorrow, so we're probably going to get some new... Uh, I don't know if we'll hear anything about Ragnarok. Here we go. I don't know if we're going to hear anything about Ragnarok. Um, are you streaming that? Uh, no. Uh, I'll be working still. Unfortunately. I'd like to, but, uh... The earliest I can get off of work is 4, and that's when it starts, <laughs> is 4 p.m. my time. So, uh, I'm not going to be able to stream it. Um, but I will be watching it. And I'll probably uh, post like updates on, on social media and stuff. Uh, might write a rundown to post on the uh, website. I don't know yet, though. Yeah, I'm probably... I, I might watch Kinda Funny's uh, live stream of it. Because I, I... Their PlayStation podcast is what I... Is, like, my go-to PlayStation podcast, so... Uh, I'll probably watch them do the live stream of it. If you don't know what that is, that's, uh... It's uh, kind of funny. Um, uh, P.S. I love you, XOXO. Uh, I love those guys. No!
Oh my god, is he bigger? stamp on this level? I don't think there is. time. Still have another 15 minutes or so. So wheat. Oh, and then World 7, I think, is the last world. Sweet. Go knock off a couple uh, completion list stuff. Um. Whoops. All right. Uh, world six one still need the third star and uh, the stamp. Um, and then... Oh, I blanked on what I was going to say. Uh, but after we're done with, uh, Super Mario 3D, Super Mario 3D World, uh, we'll do the Bowser's Fury stuff. Which is what's new to the Switch version of this. Ow. I don't come off as uh, pushy, but I really want you to beat this game so you can start the journey with boy soon. I'll get to it. <laughs> I promise. Um, that might be that might be something I have to save for the summer though, because I don't wait. When is uh, Resident Evil Village coming out? Because there's also um. Probably wasn't the smartest. Uh, Alright. That. Oh, I just need the third one. comes out May 7th. Okay. Whoops. Uh, so maybe sometime after that? No, we don't have to quit. Uh, no, we'll probably do it before that. Cool. 
Okay. Um, I still don't know where the stamp is, though. It's not as cra it's not a crazy long game, like the story itself is fairly linear. So it takes roughly 20, 25 hours to beat. Oh, that's not too long at all. We can have that done in a month. If that. Maybe we can do that soon then. No, fuck off. Oh, that's right, I need to get it here. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing I could do. Uh, unless you decide to do all the side stuff. Um, no, we'll, I'll probably end up focusing on the story, uh, and then occasionally go back and maybe trophy hunt or something to get the platinum. Where's the stamp, though? What the hell? Hmm. Uh-oh. Gotta get the timing just right. What? Is there a way to get Toad out of there? Damn it! Alright, so I know how to get the stamp. I'm pretty sure Toad has it, but I don't know how to get him out of there. <laughs> seem to really work. Uh, even with all the side stuff, that really only brings it up to about 30 hours. Okay. That's not too bad, then. Alright, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and um, think about going